All right, folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron, and today we are on the Lord of the Rings online forum. There is a material update slash news story pertaining to Lotro that we need to go over. It is the Legacy of Morgoth. It is now available for pre-purchase, and we're going to go over it. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So, the Legacy of Morgoth, there is a forum thread that just came out today. Um, turn down the volume a little bit. Uh, that it's now available for pre-purchase, which is great. Uh, this is the next expansion for Lord of the Rings Online. They do expansions now, usually once a year, in the fourth quarter. Makes good business sense for them. They need to have a strong fourth quarter. They have good Christmas sales. They finished the year strong. I'm happy for them. I, I wish them resounding success. Um, I will say that the Umbar expansion that we got last year, I thought was not very good with the exception of the Mariner class. I think the Mariner class is actually very good. I think they did a great job on that. But the Umbar expansion, we just spent so much time in uh, King's Gondor. It just... <laughs> Um, it wasn't great. Anyways, um, here we are now at another year, 2024, and the Legacy of Morgoth is coming. Now, they have a splash page for it, um, and we'll go through this now. Um, there is a teaser trailer, which we are going to watch. The Legacy of Morda Morgoth, Unearth the Secrets of Shagna. Venture into the untamed wilds of Nir Harad, where ancient secrets lurk behind sun-scorched sands and treacherous marshlands. Feel the th Feel the thrill of discovery as you race against time, deciphering cryptic maps and forging unlikely alliances in this land of hidden perils and breathtaking vistas. Your choice will shape the fate of Middle-earth. Okay. With courage as your compass, pursuing cunning traders through scorching deserts, petrified forests, and wind-carved canyons, stand shoulder to shoulder with the fierce and ignemic people of this land to prevent against a coming darkness more terrifying than Mordor's shadow. For in these mysterious lands awaits something that few would have dreamed in their most terrible nightmares, the legacy of Morgoth. He features continue the epic song of winds or of waves and winds. So that's where the epic story is now. So we're gonna you're gonna continue to get the epic story. Um, I thought it was it was okay in Umbar. Um, uh, it, it was a it was middling in my opinion. Discover the striking lands of Nir Harad. This will be cool to see Harad. Um, one of the things that Lord of the Rings Online does well, SSG does well, is they bring you Middle Earth. So that's cool. We get to see Harad. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, that's fantastic. Uh, that'll that'll be definitely a highlight. Encounter exotic new wildlife. Okay, so they're going to have some new mobs. Looks like a scorpion. Probably be some desert type mobs because, you know... In Lord of the Rings Online, you've got orcs, goblins, uh, spiders all over the place, right? <laughs> so we're finally getting some desert stuff. Um, 350 unique quests. That's cool. That's a nice little... Yeah, that's that's a good 30, 40 hours of play. Maybe 50. I don't know. Depends, including the epic. Uh, that's not bad. Obtain collectibles with our new baubles. Okay, so there's a new collectible. That's, you know, if you're into that, that's cool. Um, get more with collectors or ultimate fan bundles, of course. They want you to buy that. Available fall 2024 with an asterisk. The asterisk reads, The Lord of the Rings Online Legacy of Mordoth, Morgoth Expansion is estimated to release on November 6, 2024 with raid content no later than February 2025. So, that is normally what SSG does. And they splice the content that way so they can get a they, you basically what they're doing is is they're splitting the expansion so they can get more time out of it i understand why they're doing that this is a small company um and they need to if they invest their time resources into an expansion they need to extend the life of that expansion in the new player experience as much as they can um 
November 6th is about a month. I'm making this on October 2nd. Uh, this will probably air on the 4th or the 5th. And, you know, February 2025 is when the new raid comes. So that's, of course, again, that's, uh, it's the estimated release. That's not a hard release date. SSG probably will reserve the right to change that if needed, but um, at least we have an estimate. So let's take a look actually at the, the trailer. I'm going to mute the medieval Celtic music as the background and we'll play this. So there you go. Um, that was the trailer. Um, I, it looked okay. It looked like standard Lord of the Rings online gameplay. Uh, I don't, you know, the, the, the nice part about SSG when they do a trailer, um, they're not embellishing it with a bunch of CGI created, you know, like you see some trailers out there that the game looks nothing like it, right? Uh, what you just saw is what the game is going to look like. Uh, okay, we're going to be in a desert. Interesting. Let's get into some of the frequently asked questions. Legacy of Morgoth frequently asked questions. Legacy of Morgoth is the latest expansion for Lord of the Rings Online. Venture, okay, pretty much know that. With courage as your compass, pursue cunning traitors. Yep, we know that. Okay, um... And there's the Lotro Market. We're going to visit that in a minute. We'll see how much it costs. Here are some answers to frequently asked questions about Legacy of Morgoth. Can I purchase the expansion with Lotro points? The base edition of Legacy of Morgoth includes the new regions, missions, and instances only. Will be available for 2,995 Lotro points in May of 2025. The reason that's important is because... People always ask if it's going to be available when it first drops. And, and it never is. Uh, it's never available for Lotro points because they need to make money. And there's people out there sitting on thousands and thousands of um, Lotro points. You just buy it with your Lotro points and SSG wouldn't make any money. The fact that they're giving it a date when you can purchase it, that's cool. So for people like me, I'm not going to buy this right away. Um, I, I generally support SSG and Turbine before it. I've bought all of the expansions except for one, I think. Um, and I haven't regretted it, mostly. But this one, I'm not going to be purchasing right out of the gate. I think I'll wait till May to play it. Anyways, what other content will eventually be released to the Lotro store in May 2025? Three map carry-all offers, $12.95, $14.95, and $19.95 points. Okay. So this is the carry-alls will probably be something that you're going to be able to get with um, the deluxe edition, I, I'm betting. How do I add the expansion to my existing Lotro account? After you purchase, your account will automatically be updated. We know that. When and how do I get my expansion bonus items? Most cosmetics titles and other bonus items are delivered to every character while the expedition supplies delivered to the first server and character that you log into the game with after your purchase. Your character must have the novice trait to receive expedition supplies and other once per account items. You may need to log out of the game and back in before the changes take effect on your account. Each edition of Legacy of Morgoth has its own expedition supply box, so purchasers of the collector's edition will receive the improved, okay. Uh, I never get into this part of it because they have so many different 
types of things that you get when you upgrade or downgrade or whatever. I usually just get the basic package. Okay. Um, but you can read this if you want. I'm, I'm going to uh, move on from this. Um, if I don't pre-purchase the expansion, can I still buy the expansion bonus items at a later time? At this time, the Standard Edition, Collector's Edition, and Ultimate Fan Bundle will remain available after the launch of the Legacy of Mor Morgoth expansion. While the expansions will still be available in the Lotro market, please note that you will be unable to purchase the bundled cosmetic items through the Lotro store for points. So if you like the cosmetics, you must buy one of these uh, expansions. Okay, so there's that. I pre-purchased the ex expansion, but it didn't get a product key. Where is it? You no longer need a product key after you purchase. Your account is automatically updated via the Lotro market. There's not a lot here in terms of what's coming with Legacy of Morgoth. We've got a date. November 6th, was it? Let's go back to that real quick. November 6th. We've got a date, so that's coming. Um, we don't have a detailed list yet of what's coming with the expansion. We've got 350 quests. We've got, you know, uh, we're going to be in Harad, which is cool. But let's take a look at the Lotro market. Where, okay, is this, go to Lotro site. Where, where can I purchase it? Let's see what we've got here for the pre-purchase. All right, the. Of course, they're recommending the Ultimate Fan Bundle. Do you ever ever see a, a, a gaming site that recommends the Standard Edition? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, standard Edition's 40, 40 US. Legacy, you get the content, you get the instance cluster, you get an extra character slot, which is cool. Um, you get a portrait frame, which is nice. You get a Defier of Morgoth's Legacy title for 40 bucks. For 80 bucks, double the money, you get the Legacy of Morgoth content, the Instincts Cluster, the uh, everything that you get with the Standard Edition, and you get the Sandwalker title. You get the you get the cosmetics for the armor of the Sand Strike Striker, the Steed. You get a Cobra pet. You get a Milestone teleportation style. I'm not sure what that is. Scorpion Surprise Bobble, which is the new collectible and improved expedition supplies. Uh, okay, and then for $130, you get everything that's in the Collector's Edition and Standard Edition, but you get a whole bunch of extra things. You get uh, Treasured Portrait Frame, Treasured Title, um, you get more collectibles, extra bank storage, excuse me, extra bank storage, 10 slots. That's actually pretty nice. Housing teleport item, I'm not sure. That must be... Why would you need that? If you've already got the house... If you've got a house, you just teleport to it. You've got the... You've got a separate... Milestone for that. Anyways, um, Legacy of Morgoth Legendary Items Treasure. Monster Play Appearance, which is interesting. Uh, treasured Currency Bonus. And there's more details. We're not going to click on that. Um... Yeah, pretty standard. 40 bucks, 80 bucks, 130 bucks. Um, it really depends what, what you, how much disposable income you have, how much you want to support SSG, etc. Um, I can afford to buy any one of these, I, but I would buy the standard edition because I'm really just interested in the content. There's really, you know, uh, <laughs> how do I say this? Um, you know, for an upgrade up to 130, 80 bucks, there's really nothing here that just blows me away that I must get. You know, that uh, th like the extra bank storage, ten slots, big deal. You know, like I, uh, you know, I've got plenty of bank storage, but I understand they have to do bundle as much as they can. 130 bucks is steep, but I think ingrained into these prices is the notion that, of course, you're supporting the company. I think the forty dollar Standard edition is the way to go. That's what I would recommend to my viewers. But you tell me in the comments below um, which edition you would like. Um, and of course, there's a thread on the forum, which has already got three or four posts in it. Three, four, three or four pages of posts in it about um, what's coming with Legacy of Morgoth. This is something 
I would highly recommend that you check out this forum post um, because a lot of things get hashed out here. Like this, this is a really good question from this particular uh, player, Farone, who actually he, he he does stream on Twitch. I've I've seen it once or twice. I don't really do Twitch too much, but he's actually pretty good. Is there no Valor level boost in the Ultimate Fan Bundle this year, or did I miss it? Yeah, that's usually something that you would get with the Ultimate Fan Bundle. You'd get the Valar. Um, that's that's always a nice item for them to drop in to the, the Ultimate Fan Bundle. Um, they drop in a Valar. That makes that $130 uh, purchase a little nicer. There is no uh, increase in level from what i can see here so maybe that's not why they're doing it but um yeah this is the so this is the pre-purchase it's announced we've got a tentative date of november 6. um just to wrap up the video and to give you my general comments um if you're a lord of the rings online fan and you enjoy the game and you want to support the game i i would encourage you to um buy the 40 dollar version the standard version uh, you know, throw them a little, 40 bucks if you've got it. You know, I'm not saying, you know, 40 bucks is just something you could just throw it at anybody. I understand money is tight for a lot of people. But, you know, this is your hobby. This is what you choose to invest some of your time in. If you've got the money, you should probably support them if you can, because we want them to be healthy, vibrant, and have a great 2025 to continue to do more expansions. However, um, I, for me... I'm not going to be playing this content anytime soon. I'm pretty content with where I'm at with Lord of the Rings Online. I'm content with um, hanging around a legendary server right now. I've recently, not recently, but within the last three or four months, have had um, quite a change of heart with Lord of the Rings Online, how I approach the game, how I choose to play it. And I, I don't need this this um expansion i'm not going to be doing end game, you know level 150 end game stuff anytime soon i'm not going to need the raid i'm not going to need the gear i'm not going to need to do any of that stuff however when i get to that point i will buy it through the 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 lotro store and you know maybe that's what you're going to do as well i don't think that's a bad option i don't think there's a bad option anywhere here but if you're a fan of the game definitely you know uh, i would purchase it why not you know you we need to support the companies that are producing the products that we want. However, we should, you know, definitely get involved in the forums, give you two cents if you, you know, believe that there should be something in the game or in one of the bundle packs, you should say so. You should speak up. Anyways, I just wanted to bring you that news. It's the Legacy of Morgoth pre-purchase announcement. It looks like the drop date is November 6th. When we get the detailed update on this expansion that has all of the details of changes etc class revamps all that stuff i will bring that to you but for now looks like legacy of morgoth for lord of the rings online is coming november 6. anyways i really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content as always please remember to like subscribe and share all that stuff really helps the channel out i appreciate the support and i'll talk to you again soon